difference in character. Us, as men, we are the top spiritual elite of Europe. And in this year of blessings, God has us on a winning program. And that winning program is not about blessings only. That winning program is not made to make you feel comfortable. That winning program is based on two things. Times with God and hard times. Excellent character is built through times with God and hard times. Romans 5, verse 1. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glorify in our sufferings. It doesn't say we complain in sufferings. It doesn't say we make excuses in sufferings. It doesn't say we cry in sufferings. It says we glorify in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance produces character. Character also known as dokime in Greek, which means to be tested and approved. And in my Louis II French version of the Bible, the, the word character it simply says to be victorious in trials. So character is for winner. Character is about being victorious. Character is about having a winning mindset, not a crying mindset. The only thing that separates winners from losers is character. My brother, it's game seven. NBA playoff, right? But your team is losing by one point. Ten seconds on the clock. Who will take the last shot? I'm asking who's going to take the last shot? That will be number 23 back then in the Bulls. 24 with the Lakers. I don't know too much about that number, 20, number 6 right now in the Lakers. Man. That's why another debate. The thing is that Who's going to take every shot this year with God? God is going to throw you shot opportunities to grow in your character. Take every single shot. Dokime is also the name of the process to verify in the first century if a coin of money was valid or not. So the coin will be smashed and smashed and smashed again put to fire, to the limit, almost to destruction. But the, the point was not to destroy it. The point was it to make it a value, if it was valid or not. Come on. The same thing with us. God is going to smash us. You guys are fed up about that, I can see. It. God is going to put you into fire. Come on. Not to destroy you, but to make you. Do you know if you pass the pest or not? If you haven't been destroyed, it means you're valid. Come on. The coin, if it's valid, can be put into the market and be used for its purpose. When God is building your character, it's to make you valid so that you can be used for his purpose. The number one industry in the world is painkillers. Wow. 80 billion euros spent in Europe for painkillers. Wow. That doesn't count pornography. That doesn't count food, that doesn't count social media, that is a painkiller for some people in the world, and I hope not for you guys. The society is not meant to build your character. The society is making men soft. Only a true relationship with the living God can build your character. Genesis. Genesis, 30, Genesis chapter 32, on, verse 22. Let's see a man whose character was changed forever. Don't be useless. Find it real quick. Just Genesis 32, verse 22. That night, Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his 11 sons, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had sent them across the stream, he sent over all his possessions. So Jacob was left alone. God is built to build your character when you are alone, when you face him. 
Verse, verse 25, verse 24, sorry. So Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip so that his hip was wrenched as he wrestled with the man. Then the man said, let me go for his daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, what is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with humans and have overcome. Jacob said, please, tell me your name. But he replied, why do you ask my name? Then he blessed him there. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, it is because I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. Wow. We know here that the name Jacob means deceiver. Mm -hmm. And because in our personality, we always used to go to pleasure, God is trying to break our hip to break what was gone in our personality so that we can have the true character of God. So his name he went from Jacob to Israel. Israel being the one who wrestled with God. And that was not the name given to him, but to us as well, because we are the man, the spiritual Israelite, that needs to wrestle with God. Get close to God, and God is going to break something in you. God broke my selfish ambition last year. God broke my, 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 my desire to please men last year. What God is trying to break on, break on you? On. God is not trying to play fair with you. Come on. I, it will be hard for me to, to fight God, for, first of all, and to fight God with a broken nail, that would be hard already. But imagine now with a broken hip. Jacob's determination to be blessed got him the character and the victory. He was too tired of losing. Come on. That's why he went after God. Oh. Are you tired to lose? Yeah. Are you tired of mediocrity? Are you tired of being good? I want it to be quiet for God. Not only he changed the name, but he changed the place where he was. The place where he was was Jebok, sorry. Yes. Jebok means empty. Yep. And the place now he was was Peniel, the face of God. Your character will change when you face God. I have one protocol for you. Tell him, bro. This year, zero negativity. Come on. Not a day of self-pity, but self-denial, so that you have an excellent character for God. To God be all the glory. Greater things have been done before. Even greater things.